Hey, my name is Mark, and today we'll be looking at Dynamics 365 Business Central, specifically around the, the budgeting aspect of it, building out a simple budget, and then being able to track, you know, take a look at tracking your cost of goods sold, uh, and viewing that against actual reporting. Hey, what are we actually earning? What are we actually spending? Um, so we'll look at that both from that cost of goods side of things, as well as the income. So getting us started here, we are in our home screen. Um, hopefully this isn't uh, completely foreign, uh, but this is where we will go and navigate to view our budgets. So we just search for budgets. We'll click on GL budgets. Um, as you can see here, there's a list view. While we only have one budget here currently, the default, we can actually go ahead and create a new one. You know, maybe we'll name this our 2025, but really the reason why we have multiple budgets is that it gives you the flexibility to do, hey, maybe we want a 2025 V1, first pass budget, right? Maybe you want to run uh, various what if scenarios, right? All right, so we've created that. We do have our global dimension and one and two. So we have our department and customer group uh, shown there. Let's go ahead and click into our 2025 budget that we created. And then I will flip this over to view by year. All right, so we're here in our 2025 budget. A um, few call outs here. We do have the line set up to show as GL accounts. Um, we have all of our months. Uh, we're looking at view by month here, just across every single one of these rows. And then you'll see here, because this is set up by GL account, every single one of our GL accounts is going to have a row. Uh, while you know, for this chart of accounts, we do have a lot of accounts. This really lets us get very granular. And then all of this will roll into the financial reporting when we go to view that. Just to get us started here, let's say that you know maybe I want to enter in a few values for each month on the budget. Um, let's look at it from a cost of goods sold perspective, right? Um, I'm going to go into my filters, select the cost of goods sold category, and then I will expand out our budget matrix. This is every line again by month. So specifically, you know, I know my cost of materials and, you know, maybe I want to budget this out over the entire year. Uh, let's go ahead and say that January, you know, I'm going to have spend 10,000, just going to punch in a few numbers here for some of the months. And just get us up through our current month here. Give it a little bit of a number so we can kind of see where we are at there. Okay. So this is one way to do it. Obviously, if you're filling out every single row in your entire uh, chart of accounts, if you have a lot of accounts, this could be a lot of work doing it this way. While we can edit that in the budget matrix view within Business Central, we can also do this as an export to Excel. Go ahead, populate in, maybe you know we send it to other heads of departments for them to populate their data for their specific sections. And then we can go ahead and import that back into Business Central. So just to show that process here, you know we're able to use this export to Excel. We have the start date. Um, we can say this is for 12 months. Um, and then maybe we do want to include again for including other departments we can pull in the various dimensions for some of those let me go ahead and run this again you can filter down to specific as well all right so now that we have our um, cost of goods budget lines entered in the system and we've exported and are now looking at the excel template for um, for the budget uh, for 2025. Let's go ahead and enter a few more lines. So again, this Excel template would be really useful if you're sharing or having um, some of the other department heads or folks at your company uh, combine some efforts and then put together their budgets. And then you want to load that or you just are comfortable in Excel and you, know, you want to make the entries here instead. So um, with that, we are going to go down and look for our income rows. So here you will see our sale of finished goods. And again, we, you know, we have each month kind of over here. 
could lock that so you can see the, the header there. But um, one thing that I will show is that we do have the ability to enter in the customer group. So that was one of our global dimensions that we had selected when we set the budget up. Um, and then we exported the Excel. You'll see here that we have the ability to say, hey, this is a large, medium, or small uh, company. And so maybe you know we want to enter in small. Um, you can actually duplicate this row and have small, medium, large for the same account in the same file. Um, but let's keep it simple here. And again, you could also enter your department, right? If you want to have that level of granularity. All right, let's we'll cut this short section because I'm going to go ahead and grab my values that I've got staged down here. All right, and then when it comes to actually entering in our monthly values, I'm going to go ahead and enter in a few of them here. Maybe we have even more on top of that. But once we have all of our values entered for the month, I think right now this is kind of through July and not all the way, but uh, that's all we'll do for the entry. We'll go ahead and save the file. Now that the file's saved, we will go back over into now we're back over into Business Central. We then have the ability to go ahead and import from Excel. In this, you know, we can do replace entries. Uh, any we had loaded already, it will completely wipe and replace. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll select my... All right, and we'll go ahead and replace. So now you'll see that the budget I've uploaded. There are entries in here for that sale of finished goods. We've got all of our values here. All right, so now that we have all of our values loaded into the budget, um, really what can we do with that in the system? So one of the main things that we can do with that is utilize that in conjunction with our financial reports. So let's go ahead and pull up our financial reports page. We are going to look at our income statement here view the reports. And so we are using a column definition that's specifically for our year to date, month to date, and includes our budget. And I do want to note that we have it filtered down for June here. And we're going to go ahead and hide the options just so we can take a look at, you know, again, only our report. So what is the showing here? We'll start with the um, income and the budget that we entered. Uh, so in this month, in June, we have a $9 million actual uh, income. And then on that budget side of things, you know, we are showing um, that we have a $8 million actual or $8 million budget compared to our 9 million actual. So it will categorize the difference here and calculate that. Uh, likewise, on the year to date side of things, uh, you can see our accumulated year to date actual versus that budget. Um, and then that difference and all of that will total out same thing when it comes to the materials um, and all of the cost of goods sold there as well as how that totals out on the um, on the profits and income lines all right so hopefully that gives you a little bit of perspective about what's possible around managing and editing a budget in business central using excel or directly in the system um, and how and why we would use that in relation to our financial reporting